Hi, everybody. It's Gramps. Well, I just want to come here and give some words of hope during all these stressful times we're going through. And I want to tell you things ain't so bad after what happened to me last night. Well, last night I was arm wrestling with a couple of these fellas here in the house. And, well, things got a little heated and we got started scrapping. And next thing you know, Sonny Boy comes over and scoops me up and puts me inside this prison that we use, that I go in when we go to work. Well, I thought he was going to just keep me in there for a few minutes, let me cool off and let off some steam. So I kind of dozed off. And next thing I know, I wake up and it's the middle of the night. What's going on over there? Anyway, it's the middle of the night. And Sonny Boy still wasn't around, so I try to go back to sleep even though I start to have to go poop. And then I woke up and it was, the sun was coming out. And I said, well, Sonny Boy will be out any minute because he don't sleep too late past the sunrise. And I waited and waited and he never came down. And all that, the push came to shove and next thing I know the poop came out. So here I'm stuck in this little jailhouse with the poop and I couldn't get out. So I started trying to make my escape. And next thing we know, well, the, the prison started to collapse on me. Must have been some faulty craftsmanship there. And then, somebody's, uh-oh. Hey, get off of my video, you little tension whore. Anyway, you can watch my back for the rest of the video. Anyway, so next thing you know, this whole prison's collapsing on me and I get covered in poop. And I, the next thing you know, Sonny Boy came down the stairs looking for me, young Gramps, Gramps. Because I was all the way across the room in this collapsed prison. And next thing you know, he scoops me out of there and he runs me upstairs. And next thing I know, I'm getting showered with warm water and scrubbed down. And I really, really was embarrassed. And I'll tell you what, if any of these fellows around here says anything and teases me, they're going to regret the day. But anyway, my point is, even if you're having a bad day and things look bleak, look at it this way. At least you didn't wake up this morning in a collapsed prison covered in poop. Hope you all have a great day. Bye.